As you may know, the Alien Isolation VR mod does not work with Windows 11 on the Steam version. But, um, however, it does work on the Epic Game version, so I'm going to show you how to install the VR mod on Epic Games and get it running because there is some stuff that, um, uh, is kind of, like, glanced over in other, uh, tutorials, but mostly it's extremely simple, so this shouldn't be too long of a video, and also I have, like, a little bit of gameplay at the end of it, because it's one of the best optimized VR mods I've ever seen. It looks really good, and it just runs really well. Um, without further ado, let's just start going. Okay, to get I Alien Isolation VR mod running on Windows 11, you have to use the Epic Game version. So, instead of using the Steam version, go on the Epic Games Launcher and install the game from there. Um, it's pretty simple, but you just type in Alien. Ooh. Alien. And then it's Alien Isolation. Then you just click Buy in here. And then install it okay and then once it's installed you want to go to your file explorer and it's going to usually be installed under osc program files epic games and then you'll have your folder right here boom open up alien isolation folder and you should have a this one folder called like ai with the game logo on it that's going to be your alien isolation exe file. Place that on the right and open the link in my description uh, on the YouTube video on the left. Okay, boom. On on the left side of the screen with the mother VR mod for alien isolation, you're just going to click the here, the blue here, and it will start downloading it in the bottom. Just click on the bookcase. Um open the folder place that on the left side boom now you'll have a readme installation you just drag the dxgi.dll into the alien isolation folder okay so here's the dxgi.dll we just drag and drop it into there and then boom once you did that you'll see it in your game folder and you installed the mod um, Next step, you're going to want to just open up Alien Isolation, um, either through the shortcut or go into the Epic Game Store and uh, click launch. When you launch it, you'll have an error message that says SteamVR not running, and that's good because I don't have my VR headset on right now. Just click OK, and it'll launch the game in flat screen. Okay, once we're in this thing, just click any key on the keyboard and go into options, go into Mother VR, and click on VR Runtime. Here, you either have the choice to use Steam VR or Oculus. I have an Oculus headset, so I'm going to use Oculus, but if you have like a Valve Index or anything, just keep it on Steam VR and uh, exit the game. But I want to use Oculus because I, I'm using a Quest 2. So I just click use Oculus and it will boot me out of the game. And now all I need to do is put the headset on and open it up again. So let me do that right now. Okay, so once you have your VR headset on in your home, just go ahead and boot Alien Isolation. Give me a second. Yep, open it up right there. And then it will start loading you into the game. But since I have my VR headset on, it's actually in VR right now. Okay, so for this VR mod, I like to use an Xbox controller because it's the easiest way to play this thing. Um, go ahead and click play game and then alien isolation and then just click 
start game or continue a game you've already started playing. Um, start game is just like load a new game, um, new campaign, whatever. Um, once you click start game, you'll actually be in VR. Um, yeah, boom. This way. Yeah. Follow me. You just play the whole game like this. What's it called? Cutscenes work too. Sec. The game looks really trouble. good, and there's no um, like lag or whatever. Like if you move up and down violently, you won't see like the screen trying to catch up. Here's how like uh, cutscenes work. It just kind of joins you into them, and you just read the uh, computer screen. When you run, you see your hands. That's cool. This stuff. After restore power. Let's power it down. The assholes have cut us off. Yeah. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the just same time. Just play the rest of the game. I'll like do this, this one. You go to the one in the other.